Dad gets the boat ready for us to get on. But first things first. We have to put on our life jackets because we're still learning how to swim properly. One by one, we all get onto the boat. My dad made this boat. He is super crafty with wood and other things. He can make anything his imagination can think of. Vroom, vroom, start the engine and off we go. We have to go through the lily pads and head towards the deepest part of the lake where the biggest fish live. It's always such a pretty boat ride as the water reflects the clouds above us. It feels like we're floating in the cloud, but we're really on water. We drop anchor and get ready to start fishing. Hope we get lucky and catch a few fish. They can get started. Well, we're gonna use this bait here. We're gonna use your worms. You're gonna catch a lot of fish with these worms. What do you know? Jesse! Not even two here, minutes after dad helps Jesse gets his rod ready and he catches the first fish. I don't wanna hold the fish. That is so cool. Do you know what kind of fish that is? A piranha. <laughs> That's a, this is a bluegill. Or is it? So far. Yellow. I got it. Yellow, and what's this color here? Blue. Blue. It's a bluegill. Cool, huh? Can I see the Kiss it. No. no. Hopefully, I'm next to catch an even bigger one. It ate my worm. It ate your worm? Yeah, I was even just watching it going beep, 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 beep. Yeah, hey, let's get you another worm here. Fishing can be frustrating at times, but it teaches you how to be patient. My dad says patience is a good thing to have, especially when you get older in life. My dad is like one big kid himself. He's a bigger version of Peter Pan. Jesse ran out of big, fat, juicy worms. Now he has to use fake worms. Still no luck with catching anything. Best I try a new lure. I must be super careful with the sharp hook. Dad thinks we should go to another spot of the lake. At the new spot, fingers crossed, I catch a big fish. Not even a minute, and what do you know? Asher catches the biggest fish of the day. Sometimes it's hard to take out the hook safely. Dad has to help us. We don't want to hurt the fish. Do you know why it's called a bluegill? Because it has gills, right? So these are the gills right here. That's where the animal breathes from. Just like we have lungs. We don't have gills, but they don't have no, lungs. No, Josh, I said I saw some sun eat right? on so that Right, so this is what they breathe there. in. The water passes it, and then they get oxygen from the water. Yeah. And look what color yeah. their gills are. What's that color here? Blue. Blue. That's why they're called bluegills. Eight. Time to put the pretty fish back in its home. Still no luck with me catching anything, and it's starting to get late. My dad says that's life. Sometimes you catch the biggest fish of your life, and sometimes you catch nothing. But always know that you must never give up, and tomorrow's another day. As the sun set, my mom decided to come say hi. My dad said she's the best catch he has ever had. I don't know what that means. Must be a grown-up thing. Mom isn't a fish. And that's fishing with dad and the life lesson it teaches me to be patient and never give up. I guess I can end this story here. We have so many stories to tell you on Found Home Farms. Every day is a new fun story to tell. But tomorrow is another chapter of Found Home Farms. I can't wait. Mm -hmm.